Hey, Brendan here. In part two of this video, I'm going to do a host type and we're going to automatically import fields from this spreadsheet into our WordPress site. And we're going to use the REST API to do that. And we're going to create some ACF custom fields for some of these items here. And so you can import not just posts and pages, but custom posts into your WordPress site using the REST API. And so I have a couple of notes here and I'll post these in the video description as well as it'll be on my blog on my website. Um, but you can, first of all, we need to understand the sources. So as I showed you, we're gonna import that Google Sheet data and we're gonna create some custom posts and we're gonna authenticate into WordPress and use the REST API. And we have some Various notes here, we gotta make sure we turn on the REST API on the custom post types and the fields. And you need to have this authentication plugin. And again, we're using active pieces to automate the posting of these custom post types. And so we're gonna create a directory with these businesses here as the post title. And these are gonna, as I said, custom fields here. And these are gonna be imported into our WordPress site um, you can see here, I've got the sample data here. So we're going to go through all this. So just stick with me and we're going to do it all from scratch. So I've got the, this is just a temporary site here. And so let me go back. Uh, well, we've got our notes right here, right, right in front of me. <laughs> so what we need to do is create some custom post types to be able to receive the data from this spreadsheet. Okay. So let's do that. Let's go to post types and let's make a new post type called contractor directory and the plural, I guess it doesn't contractors. I don't, I don't care. Let's just leave it. <laughs> and remember this post type key, but we'll save that. And before I do that, let me go down here to advanced configuration. We want to make sure that's on. We go to our rest API and that is on. Let's save that. And then let's make the field groups. And so we have post name, right? This is going to be post title. And then we just need address, city, state, website URL, and phone. So street address, city, state. So we're going to do street address. And again, remember these fields here. Let's go ahead and add the city. State. Spell it right state and what was the other one website url and we'll add the phone number okay so we ought to make sure that these are associated with our contractor directory and again make sure you go into group settings and show in rest api otherwise your data will not show up in the next step so this is going to be contractor directory fields okay so those are now associated with our contract directory. So if I come here to add a new post, yes, we see all the fields here. So fantastic. Let's go back to our notes here and we'll edit this to view. We've got our custom post types. We've got our custom fields. And now we need to install the JSON plugin. So let's go through, first of all, the next step to active pieces. So let me go back to here. You go back to make a new flow. All right, we're just going to start from scratch. And my trigger is going to be, I'm just going to use a schedule trigger and I'm going to have this run every minute. Again, I think in the free version, you can't, uh, it runs every five minutes or something like that. So um, in any case, uh, let's go ahead and add uh, the next step in our flow, which will be the Google sheet, right? Because we wanted to, we want to grab that data. Let's go to Google Sheets and I will connect. And it will, if you haven't done this before, you just have to log in through your Google account. And our action is going to be, what we want it to do is um, we want to get the next group of rows from a sheet. So if I click on this and we scroll down a bit, we'll see that it stores a row number. And so each flow, it will grab the next one row. Okay, so let's go ahead and connect this. I'm going to connect just to my demo sheet here. And this is choosing the spreadsheet name. And then these are the, the sheet numbers, right? So I can 
click on the contractor list. And if I come back here, I can see contractor list. Okay. So we have it grab one row, one row. And then if we test that, let me make this a little bigger. It's going to grab the header values, right? So we've got the business name, address, city, state, website, URL, phone. And you can see that I, those are the ones I edited. They didn't look very nice down here because we're not going to do all of those, but that's, you can see there's also like description, employee names, founder year, LinkedIn bio, all, all that good stuff that you might want from a business address, latitude, longitude for address, that kind of stuff. But we're just going to keep it simple and focus on data, uh, text data. So we have it, the query was successful. So that means I am connected to this Google sheet. And so the next step in our flow is to connect to WordPress. So let's select WordPress from the next step. And the action is going to be instead of create posts, which is just going to be a blog post or a page, we want to actually do a custom API because we have a custom post type. And so we're going to connect uh, to new connection. Okay. And because I'm going to do this from scratch, so let me just delete all this. And we're going to call this uh, Brendan demo and my username on that site. And this is what your WordPress login is, right? And so I click on this. I've already got this downloaded, but you come to this uh, GitHub repo and you come to the code and you download the zip and you have to install that onto your site. Or actually I haven't, I, I have it downloaded, but I'll, I'll go through the steps again, right? Because I don't have it on this uh, temp site. So let me go back to here. I will come to my plugins, add a new plugin, upload plugin. We'll install that and activate that. And that this will allow us to authenticate in with our username and password. And so if I, that's all I need to do there. So if I come back to my demo here, um, we need to grab the URL of the site. So let me go back here and grab that. Paste that in there and that should let us authenticate. And again, if you have Cloudflare, it might not allow you to do that. You might need to turn it off temporarily or, or tweak some of the settings. Uh, in any case, we are ready to authenticate in and post some of this data. So here's our post, right? We're going to post. We're not going to get, we used get in the previous video and post, but in any case, uh, query parameters. Again, if we want to publish the post, we got to click status and publish. And down here is where we're going to write a little bit of code, but just bear with me. Uh, we're going to keep it pretty simple here. So what we're going to try to do is get the AC post to those ACF fields. And so what we want to do is uh, open up our JSON here and we can start. We first want to get the title or post the title. Okay. And I'm not going to put any values in yet. I'm just going to leave them empty for now and you'll see why. So I can do content. Uh, and oops, make sure you keep your, uh, commas correct here. It'll tell you the last one doesn't need a comma. So it looks like it's broken, but until I do this, and this is going to get our ACF values. And so we all, we're going to open up another bracket here and we're going to get the, um, what, what are those values? We're going to get this, uh, street address, the city state the website URL. So let's go back again to our contractor directory. I want to go to the field groups actually, and I'm going to edit these. And what I want to do, it should let me, let me uh, let's see. I'm going to clear all these out. And this lets me multi-copy. So one, two, three, four, five. And I'll come back to my active pieces. And I will go ahead and paste those in. Okay, that didn't work. Awesome. Okay, but I got to select all of them, I guess. Copy all. So it didn't get city. We want to get um, street address, city. I don't think this was worth it. It's not saving me a ton of time because now I need to... Let's just, let's just delete this. I'll have to figure out that, that multi-copy. But we want to get the ACF values, right? So again, street address, city, all those five. So we want to do street address. And remember to do your underscore there for the 
for the key and the we'll leave that empty again so we need the street address and we need the city and i'll leave this empty again and we want to get the state and we want to get the uh website uh, website url right and we want to get the uh, sorry bear with me i'm not the fastest typer uh and again we'll leave the comma off the last one if you add it it says it's an error and it'll show you that it's an error we'll leave that off and what we want to do is um we test if we press test we're not going to see anything right because we don't have any values in here but it should go through it says there's no root okay the testing failed all right so what we want to do, oh first of all <laughs> i forgot this guy this is we need to we need to actually make sure we have the correct directory right so instead of posts what we want to do is our new custom directory contractor contractor directory and now it should be able to find that route. Hit retest. And yes, now it's a test successful. And we see our headers and we see our contractor directory. We publish, but we have no values in here. We see no value for the title and no values in the ACF field. So what we need to do is come down here and add those values from the spreadsheet. So. When I click in here, you'll see this little pop-up and that lets me get my rows from the previous step, right? So I can get my business name as the title. I can get my street address. I can get my city I can get my state. And what this doing is creating variables because it's going to run on every single row and it's a different value for each one. So you don't want to put static values in here, right? So our phone, so that looks good. I can hit retest. And we should now see business name as the slug, right? Because that's the title and our ACF values have the header information. And so as we run this and it goes through the flows, it's going to run a business name underneath because it's starting with the header and then it'll run through all these. So let's just go ahead and get this published so you can see it in action. And I will just hit uh, publish. And now every minute it's going to make an API call to this spreadsheet and it's going to say, let's bring in the next row then the next row then the next row then the next row. And it's going to create custom post type with all these ACF values. And so I can, I can probably go back to my site here and go to my contractor directory and we should see a couple tests, right? We see the, the test one before we connected any data. So I'll trash that one. And then this is the header. I'll trash that one. And so now we'll just give it another minute and we should see some data start to come in. But this is basically the everything set up now for it to correctly import data. I say that, let's wait for it to bring in some, some data here, but that should be all the steps you need. So you just need to have a data source where we, in this case, we have Google Sheets. You need to authenticate into WordPress. And if you're going to use custom post types, you need to create those custom post types and custom fields and make sure to turn on the REST API on both and have that authentication plugin ready to go and then create whatever flow you'd like. If you'd like it to update your WooCommerce products, if you'd like it to uh, post in, uh, or, or if you'd like it to update posts, you can do that as a different call. Uh, you can have it bring in data from one of your sites into the other site without using uh, any kind of import tool, or if you want to cross post your blogs you can do it this way on other sites so you don't have to log into multiple sites uh, so this is a way to have some flows going that will save you some time and hopefully stop uh, so it's again it's making <laughs> it's doing the first header right because i published the flow so we will give it just just one more minute bear with me i promise promise it's a it's going to work um, but the other thing you can do is add other things into this flow where this is just doing one custom post, but if, imagine if you had another custom post type called locations, I could duplicate this and change the contractor directory to locations. And then I could change some of the fields and instead the title could be the city name instead, right? 
So you can create more complex flows and connect up multiple flows within the same uh, active piece. Uh, so that is basically how that how that works. Um, I'm going to come back again. Hopefully, good. There we go. There's our first post, and America's Advantage Remodeling. That is row two. So data is flowing. Let's go ahead and edit that and see what is in here. All right, there we go. There's our street address, city, state, website URL, phone number, ACF custom fields with the WordPress REST API. Hopefully that was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. Are there any other things that you're using this for already? Uh, what kind of creative solutions are you coming up with? I'm, I'm curious to know what, what people do. This is, um, I haven't really messed around with the REST API too much. But again, look, we have our second in, second import here. And we've got our info. We've got our website URL. And um, I guess just as a, as a bonus here, I'll just quickly display this data in Bricks. So this would... Now, I'm not going to do a, a template because uh, this is just a demo. <laughs> right, so we're just going to get some data on it. So edit with bricks, and let's see if we can get this data now in our site. So let's see. Let's get a block. Let's get a heading. Let's get uh, some text. Right, so this can be address. And we can do address, read address. Perfect. First one's going to be our business name or our post title. We had address. We had what phone. Um, had and so again, this is the same concept where we're putting dynamic data in here. Um, phone data, and we're going to do uh, website. Website. These are all ACF fields that we're pulling in. And it should append this after I apply the query. But I'll street address, phone, uh, city. Uh, let's get that up there. ACF, probably just city, right? And now if I turn this query on, go ahead and make this into a grid. And on this query, let's get the post type of contract address. And there we have it. Do that on the front end. And well, that's not good. Why is that not showing? I'll show it in the builder. <laughs> if I refresh this, I bet you'll see more. DVD renovations, let's see, on the query, let's just, we don't have this many yet, but do order by title, sending, and it should show it in alphabetical order, and yeah, look, it's already adding more, I don't know why it's not showing on the front end, oh, oh because it's a, yeah, let me edit the page name. It's the same name as the custom directory. And let me append this. And you get the idea. Okay, well, it's not working. Okay, whatever. Let's go back to our dashboard and, and check out our custom post. And yeah, it's already adding more and more. So it is working as expected. That is the import function with the REST API. And active pieces very helpful to connect your flows up and automate things in your site so again thank you for watching sorry it went on a little longer um let's see again refresh okay good it's still it's still working <laughs> fantastic i love that it's so easy all right guys thanks for watching take care